video of teenage girls in the South Bay recording themselves spewing racist slurs has resurfaced on social media. It's now being reposted and going viral in Torrance, and it's making some students at South High School feel unsafe. KCAL 9's Rena Nakano has the story. The count of three, say One, two, three. Behind the blur, seven giggling teenage girls. Behind the bleeps, the N-word. This is a video from five years ago now resurfacing and going viral among students at South High School in Torrance. I was alone at the school. Junior Jayla Lewis first saw it a few weeks ago. It really hurt me just first seeing that it was an African-American leading them on to say it which makes, you know, everybody think that it's okay. But it's not. On Monday, she says a black classmate received this video along with hateful messages saying, quote, you don't fit in with the rest of us. Go back to Africa, reminding Lewis of an incident from eighth grade. I experienced two boys uh, telling me to go back to Africa and pick cotton with my ancestors. Lewis says the boys were not reprimanded then, and she's doubtful the girls in the video will be either. She says many of them are now seniors at South High with leadership positions on ASB and sports teams. Less than 3% of the student body here at South High identifies as black. Many of them now say they don't feel safe coming here. There's barely any African American staff. It's not, it's not really anybody I can really go to for personal prob cultural problems. We contacted Torrance Unified School District. A statement says in part, quote, I can assure our school community that if ever students have conflicts with one another while at school or at a school event, we will work with them and their families to offer the support and supervision necessary to help them address their conflict respectfully and productively. Lewis's mother, Linda Morris, says the district needs to get to the root of the problem so this never happens again. My message to the district is to try and find out why these children don't like African Americans. We couldn't choose our color. What is it that we have done, especially the students who are going there for academics and trying to get a good education, why they feel like we don't deserve it, but they do. I'm hoping for an apology and I'm hoping for the girls to finally realize what they've done wasn't right. In Torrance, I'm Rena Nakano, KCAL 9 News.